This is a very vulnerable video because I just got done having a mental breakdown. But to all of my single gals out there who like live on their own and like get all of their stuff for themselves on their own, I am proud of you because I am one of those people and it is so hard sometimes. Like I feel so secure in being single and being on my own and I really enjoy it, but the biggest, the hardest factor of it is money. <laughs> like it's so hard to feel so good being single but wish so badly that you just had like a partner to be able to rely on a little bit as well like you guys can both rely on each other when it comes to finances and stuff like that like rent groceries just anything <laughs> like, it's honestly so hard sometimes seeing my friends who are pretty much all in long-term relationships and living with their significant others and meanwhile i just made a spreadsheet of like the things that my money goes towards um because I'm looking for a new apartment and apartments are so expensive right now especially just to live alone like why do some places want you to like cough up over two thousand dollars for like a 300 square foot apartment that's like a studio apartment it's absolutely ridiculous like I should be able to support myself on my income and be able to afford my rent but I can't because all of you crappy landlords out there want to charge literally an arm and a leg for me to be able to have a roof over my head. What these strong boss babe women always forget is this is what they signed up for. You proclaim all over the internet how happy you are and you don't need anybody else and you can do it on your own. Well, this is part of doing it on your own, figuring out when you don't have enough money, what sacrifices you have to make. But like most women, want to have all the good but none of the negatives. And unfortunately for her, that time is done. Everybody is making sacrifices right now, but you chose to be single, meaning you may have to work a little bit harder because you can't rely on somebody else's income. So instead of crying on the internet, looking for some simple to be a financial partner and blaming everybody else on why you're not making it maybe you should look at what you can do maybe get roommates another job move somewhere cheaper or move in with one of your couple friends because you're too busy pretending to be happy and single we're going to be in this economic decline for quite some time and just because you have a job doesn't mean you'll be able to live wherever you want. Do you think people in the 30s or 70s were running around crying? No, they sacrificed and did without because that's what you had to do. Just because you have a job doesn't mean you're entitled to all the luxuries. You wanted to be the strong single boss babe and that's part of it. Figuring out how to have the things you want in life. Historically it was the man's job but you girls wanted your independence so bad so here it is and you don't get to fold up just because times are tough.